Why are leaders so afraid to talk about abortion inside our church? Why are they so scared? This is something that has always puzzled me. I don't have an answer and I want to know why. Leaders in our church have no problem speaking against alcohol, against tobacco, against coffee, coffee. There is absolutely no reason whatsoever not to address abortion inside our own church. And I'll prove it to you right now in just two words. Ready? Women's ordination. Leaders in our church and independent ministries have no problem loudly and very publicly speaking about women's ordination inside our church, but they won't say a single word about murdering a little girl. Why is that? Why are people so afraid? Whether a woman should be ordained gets hours and hours of sermons, women's ordinations gets whole symposiums and books and pamphlets and videos, but whether an innocent little girl will live or be violently attacked and dismembered, this does not get so much as even one word of protest. Why is that? Why the fear? Why are leaders in the church and independent ministries so scared? This is nothing but pure and unadulterated fear. There is simply no other explanation other than fear. And it's not just me. Many others also see this. And it's also selfishness, seeking one's own advantage, pleasure or well-being without regard for others and showing concern only for yourself and not for the needs or feelings of other people. How selfish do you have to be to know that your church supports and has practiced violently attacking little children in the name of Jesus and tearing their arms and legs off and ripping their spines out of their back? How selfish do you have to be to know this and turn away and say nothing and Jesus. Let's lift up Jesus. Let's talk about Jesus. How much do you have to hate Jesus to know that a small group of individuals in North America have brought child murder into his church? How much do you have to hate Jesus to see this brought into his church by lies and fraud and say nothing? If pedophiles wanted to bring child rape into this church, would they be scared then and afraid to say something then also? Why is child rape so terrible and awful? Why is child rape so disgusting? Why is there no dialogue and discussion and theological debate on tying up children and violently raping them until they are bleeding and screaming? But child murder, torturing that same little child and murdering them, that gets a pass. That's okay. We should sit down and have a disgusting, gross dialogue about this satanic cancer. Leaders in our church will stand up there with the microphone and huff and puff and blow down the house of women's ordination, but they won't say one word about murdering little girls in their mommy's womb. Why is that? Why the fear? And notice something. The people in our church that support child murder, they are not afraid. No, they are not scared. The people who support abortion are far more energetic, far more bold, and far more zealous to bring abortion into our church and keep it here than the people are who claim to want it out. Why is it that the people who are so bold and loud and fearless to preach the fourth commandment now won't say anything about the sixth commandment? If you won't stand up for the sixth commandment now, then how in the world are you going to stand up for the fourth commandment later? If you can't handle the resistance to preaching against killing children, then how in the world are you going to stand up later for the Sabbath? It is a prophetic truth that one day the climate will change. One day this situation will completely reverse. And those people who preach for the Sabbath will be held in far greater contempt than those today who preach against abortion. The Seventh-day Adventist Church has officially and very publicly supported the murder of children for over 48 years, and nobody says a word. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war. For over 48 years, leaders in the Adventist Church have been silent and covered up child murder. How in the world are you going to face the full-blown wrath of Satan if you won't even speak up for child murder inside your very own church? If you have run with the footmen and they have wearied you, then how can you contend with horses? If in the land of peace they have wearied you, then how will you survive the swelling of the Jordan? Abortion is the training grounds for the Sabbath Sunday Law Showdown. Abortion is the trial and test. And right now, everyone in our church is failing. Just look around and take note, take an inventory. 
How many leaders in our church or independent ministries will speak against this horror inside their very own church? They know it's wrong, but won't say anything because they are scared. Why? Why are they so afraid? 